let's go to episode 5. And hope to God they don't set my people anymore back. Because at this point, they're using stones once again. Great, my people make a cameo in an anime and it embarrasses my entire lineage. Meanwhile, anytime you see anyone from Asia, they're either a martial arts master, a businessman extraordinaire, or something of the sort. And they put one Slavic woman in there and they sent my people back a thousand years. <sighs> Onwards with episode 5. Thank you for the help, children. I really appreciate it. You may have more hands than the rest of us, but it'd still be a stretch for you to carry all this lab equipment by yourself. Exactly. Now it's a one-trip job. No wonder you were both elected class officers. So reliable. Thanks. But you really could have done this without us. A couple of quick trips back and forth? I suppose I could have, yes. But the more the merrier, eh? I have a question, sir. Yes? Are you starting to feel at home, like with all of us? Wow, I can't believe you're really asking him that. Put in those terms, I'd say I feel incredibly at home, as your teacher. That's strange. Really? Well, yeah. A creature like you taking any interest whatsoever in a group of junior high kids isn't exactly something you see every day. I mean, you actually teach us, so it's borderline cool. It just takes getting used to. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> then there's the whole assassination thing. <laughs> <laughs> a vital part of my role, I'd argue. Target teacher, we ought not to separate the two. He's having a lot of fun. Did he seriously just dodge three knives while prepping lab? Hey, Mayahara, are you okay? Why are you surprised? <laughs> they should know by now that was too obvious. Am I right, Teach? All right, boys and girls, let's begin. Seriously, is he gonna make an attempt anytime soon? It's been two episodes since he's done anything. Can you, like, at least try to poison his coffee or something? At this point, I think you're just doing nothing. Wait, what if you melted it and combined it in the paint, and then put it all over the walls and the floor? He wouldn't be able to enter the school, would he? Or maybe do it while he's teaching in the classroom. You could cut off a few of his legs as soon as he steps outside. And then use a sprinkler system. Yeah, put it in a sprinkler system. I still think the gas version would work. If you would be able to convert the substance into a gas, that would probably be the best way to do it. Because by the time he smells it, it's already deadly. He can smell it being poisoned. I mean, yes, that's what we want him to smell. The poison. Lots and lots of poison. Like literally nuke the shit out of it on all sides. Nuke like the entire country of Japan with goddamn poisonous gas. Lots of it. I mean, you might kill a few million people, but meh. You know, omelette and all that. Ta-da! And that's how we extract the coloring from processed foods. Wait, excuse me? I want Pocky. What's up, Pocky? I'll just take the leftover samples, thank you. Excuse me! Oh my fucking god, you would not believe it. Hachan, literally, when we went to the supermarket, bought strawberry Pocky and these chocolate little teddy bears. I can't even right now. I'll, uh, I'll just take the leftover samples, thank you. Excuse me! Wait! We bought those for ourselves! Is it me, or did he just use this lab to support his junk food habit between paychecks? My question's why a superorganism has to live on a teacher's salary in the first place. Oh. Eh? Yeah? I... Uh, well... Go on, speak up, Okada. What can I... Come on, baby Toko, do something. I do for you. My fucking idea. Well, she doesn't beat around the bush. I'm sorry. Is this weird? It's certainly a very straightforward assassination attempt, I'll give you that. See, the thing is, sir, I'm not very good at being sneaky. I mean, everyone else is so good at this stuff. But me? What I'm good at is chemistry. And I put my heart and soul into this mixture. Alrighty then. Um, Okada? Points for throwing in, but no one's that stupid. Oh, you know what I love? I don't know if you guys have noticed. I noticed this. It was so funny. When she went up, the blonde girl's like, oh my god, this is hilarious. 
And then here, look at her look. She's actually amused. Everyone's utterly shocked. And she's just like... <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, Okada, points for throwing in, but no one's that stupid. Your heart and soul? Don't mind if I do then. <laughs> This is. Is it really gonna work? This might be it. Nani? Or he could just grow horns. Quite a kick. Sodium hydroxide, I believe. Good try, Miss Okada. If I were human, I'd most definitely have bought the farm. Oh, I see. Shall I try the other two we have here as well? Yes, please. Right, down the hatch. Please tell me you at the very least took some of those little BB pellets and melted them into a liquid or something. Please! He grew wings this time? Wow, he's starting to look kind of fancy. Thallium acetate. Interesting. Let's see what the last one does. <laughs> Uh oh! Not sure I want to see this. That's boring. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I don't like this look. It's creeping me out. So poison turns him into an emoticon? If you hate me, I understand. But please, don't hate assassination. What's that even supposed to mean? Also, young lady, as your teacher, I can't overlook the fact that you handle toxic substances unsupervised. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't worry, I have an idea. Why don't we work together on a poison that has a little bit more of a kick? Uh, uh, sure. Doesn't seem like that's gonna end in success if you ask me. Might get some good notes out of it at least. I'm still shocked that she didn't even use one of the ingredients that was like the pellet that can actually hurt him. Whatever. All right, here it comes. Uh Wait, what? That's what I'm talking about. Wait, can he actually remove his hat? What? Hey there, big boy. How's tricks? Mm -hmm. It's an absolute sauna in here. Oh my god, she's trying to get a Japanese visa. Oh, aren't you on fire? That's not the word I would use, no. Look, save the sack for the target. Back off. Oh, I swear, you're such a killjoy. If you're gonna cut it here as a teacher, pull it together. I thought we had discussed this. For your information, it's not an act. It's hotter than hell in this dump. How do they expect these kids to function without AC? I've tried to put in several requests for renovations, but the funds aren't there, or so I'm told. Seriously? Damn it! so right! That was a clean hit! Can't be helped. It's how things are here. Okie dokie. We're ready to add it to the ethanol, I think. Now be extra careful. Don't breathe in the fumes. Ethanol? What are you cooking? Rakia? Got it. It's a shame your enthusiasm for chemistry doesn't extend to other subjects. <laughs> Everything else seems to go over my head. Especially when it comes to language arts and stuff. That's why I'm here, I guess. I never know the right thing to say. The words don't come out or I get them all turned around. Tell me to express myself and I seize up. Hmm. It's okay. I don't mind so much. At least with math and science, there's always a right answer. Everything's spelled out for you. They're concise. No double meanings, no weird feels, no worrying that someone will take your words the wrong way. It makes perfect sense. I see the appeal. Tell you what, Okada, I have a special homework assignment just for you. <laughs> Remember though, safety first. Mm hmm? She does look like Toko. Um, okay, so he really asked you to bring the poison to class? Yeah. He said the stuff in this flask should work like a charm. He even drew a manga of the safety guidelines for proper use and storage. I'm impressed, going the extra mile yet again. I know he's unconventional and all, but giving us the goods on a poison that'll kill him? Nice, right? I think it's his way of encouraging me. I'm good at chemistry, not words. He says to focus on my strengths. Good morning, oh, everyone. Here's your chance. Take your seats, please. Go give it to him. Here it is, sir, just like you asked. Ah, nice work. Well, here's to your health, children. Salud. 
Thank you, Ogada. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. This concoction is precisely what I needed to level up! Thank you. I don't... think that was a poison, did you? On the contrary, I had you whip up a special tonic designed to increase my fluidity. <laughs> In liquid form, I fit comfortably into the tightest nooks and crannies. What are you doing in there? Best of all, I lose none of my speed! Go ahead, try to beat me! Come on, this is messed up, dude! What in the world are you in? You tricked me! That's not fair! Hmm. Fair? Verbal deception is a vital part of the successful assassin's toolkit. Huh? What are you talking about, sir? Approaching the target so naively is a good way to fail in your mission. Even the deadliest of poisons is useless if one can't persuade the mark to drink it. Nagisa, say you wanted to poison me. How might you go about it? Huh? Well, let me think. I'd probably put it in something you liked. For you. For me? Then I guess I would offer it to you as a gift. Excellent. You see, to deceive someone, you have to get inside their heads. Know what they respond to. Use language creatively. In poisoning, as in life, the key to success is communication. Imagine that one day you make an earth-shattering scientific discovery. How can it benefit mankind if it stays locked inside your head? Knowing the right thing to say can make all the difference, right? Right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Nice move, Teach. Turn the tables, huh? No kidding. Can you try to kill him or something? Koro Sensei. To him, even a student trying to poison him is still, first and foremost, a student. We're a long way off from being able to kill him. He's just that good. At this point, I get the feeling that you're like half the time not even trying to kill him. Quit dragging your feet. We show up late again, there's no telling what kind of messed up stuff they'll make us do. Yeah, last time we had to clean out the flower beds. <laughs> Man, that blue. Those freaking things are the size of a house. What are you bitching about? We did all the work. <laughs> I was moral support. Uh, this sucks! Somebody explain to me why we're the only students in school who have to put up with this crap! Surprise! Hey! hey is, is that, that Kunidon? Hello! It's me, Kunidon! Achievers! Here, we like to give them a special place all their own! A place called E-Class, where they won't bother the good boys and girls! Wow! What, what a great, great idea. idea! Now, we don't normally like it when E-Class students set foot on the main campus. But we do make exceptions for school assemblies when we invite them to take a stroll down the mountain on their lunch break. Ah, ah, the stupid bridge is out! Ah, ah, no way! Who's the genius who told us this was a shortcut? Ah, oh, Kajima! Slobs. And nothing instills discipline like lining up inside the gymnasium for special assemblies, kids! Discipline! Ah! Why are there snakes? Oh, Look oh, out, Okajima! Oh, oh. Come on, maggots, get in gear! Give me a sir, yes, sir, now! Sir, yes, sir! Hooray! Ah! Why are there falling boulders? Oh, crap! Look out, Okajima! Whose big idea was it to pump the beehive? <laughs> He's uh, not having a very good day, is he? Hope the poor guy's all right. Me too. <sighs> uh, can we be done with the rocks and the bees and the things trying to kill us, please? I'm glad Okajima was around to take the brunt of it for us. Hey, anyone hurt? I think we're mostly okay. Good, no rush. In fact, at this rate, we're making fairly excellent time. Wait for me! Huh? Ugh, way to ditch me, jerk! Hey, Professor Bitch! <sighs> no one said anything about a class trip during lunch. Yeah, no offense, Professor, but you look wrecked. You try running through nature in heels! Mr. Karasuma, hmm? where's Koro Sensei? We told him to wait back at the old campus for security reasons. It wouldn't do for the other students to see him. I'm all alone, a shunned sensei. <laughs> well, the main campus isn't much further away. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah.
Okay, now stop. Wait, is that Rukia? Now stop parading. Parade, 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 parade. That sincerely sucks. Well, at least we're not late. No idea how that happened. Hurry up, people. We've got to get in line before they start. Okay. Okay, but seriously, aren't they the delinquents of the school? What are they going to do if they don't turn up? Give them detention? Like, seriously. Oh my god, here comes Professor Monokuma. Hey! Nagisa! <laughs> wow, look at you guys! I'm surprised you made it! Must have been a heck of a trek rolling down the mountain. Okay, can someone punch this guy in the nose? I mean, I know it's probably been punched half a dozen times by his dad, which is why he's taking out all his frustration and anger on kids which are shorter than him, because at school he's his dad's bitch. And this guy's dad is obviously not his home, but, you know, it is what it is. But still, can someone punch him in the nose? He's really pissing me off. Like, again, what's gonna happen if he punches them in the nose? They gotta get the tension? Who gives a shit? <laughs> wow, look at you guys! I'm surprised you made it! Must have been a heck of a trek rolling down the mountain! <laughs> Once a month, there's an all-school assembly. And even here, we get treated like the lowest of the low. Not something we look forward to, but not a lot we can do about it either. You are the cream of the crop! This nation's shining elite! Never forget that! I am proud to be your dean, but don't get too comfortable. No, let E-Class <laughs> remind us of the perils in that. <laughs> now, now, it's unkind to laugh at their expense. Hey, nagi said. why isn't Karma here? Because he's ditching. What? Is he out of his mind? It's not like he doesn't know he'll catch hell for blowing off assembly. He just doesn't care. Wish I had the grades to get away with that. They'd probably just throw me out. Yeah, ain't that the truth. If I may say so, sir, this method is remarkably effective. It shows in the percentage of students from our academy who go on to top universities. E-class aside, of course. We are pragmatists here. Realists. Young people must be prepared for the world as it is. Sadly, the best way to ignite their potential is to let them see it extinguished in others. This is why people shoot up high schools. This is why Columbine happened. Because the two kids were severely bullied for years and years and years. And eventually they snapped. You want to stop high school shootings? Stop being dicks. Very sound reasoning. Yes, of course it is. Whether in school administration or assassination, I pride myself on adherence to logic. Now we'll have an address by the student council. Student council members come up to the podium. Like, who's that? Never seen him before. He looks way too cool to be a teacher. I'd take this opportunity to introduce myself. Oh, hello. You too? <laughs> Wait a minute! Fuck! I just realized! He looks like Professor Kirigiri! Opportunity to introduce myself. Oh, hello. You too? <laughs> he looks like fucking Professor Kirigiri. Wow, cool! Yeah. <gasps> hey, check it, Mr. K! We decorated the thing we keep our knives in! So stylish! They're totes <laughs> adorable, yes! Now put them away! We're supposed to keep this on the DL. The other students can't know. Oh, sorry. I think but can we just stab him a little bit? Just a little stabby stabby. I promise not to twist. I promise just to stab the kidney. You know why? Because it doesn't recover. It hurts like a bitch. It's an eternal pressure point. And every time they piss for the rest of their lives, they'll remember the time I stabbed them. It's non-lethal, but it hurts like a bitch. No, seriously, it's true. It's what they do in prison. The shiv you in the kidney. Come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. He's the new E-class teacher. Looks like he's big on the hands-on approach. No fair. Why can't the regular teachers be that hot? I mean, seriously, is there some kind of rule? Oh. <sighs> 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 Whoa! Who 
Who's the boobalicious foreign looking chick? Five minutes ago she was down in all fours, but damn, look at her work it. <sighs> Slow down, I'm dying. Quick recovery, huh? Don't tell me she's an E-class teacher too. So jealous. What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't even try to pull rank on me. I'm an educator just like you are. So you're finally embracing your role. Or I just need an excuse to scope out the student body. <laughs> Look, sleeping with underage boys is not education. While it is educational, that does not make you a qualified educator. It still makes you a sex worker. <laughs> Meow, said nobody ever. No, it's called meow. Oh, that's right. Mm. Nagisa, mm. the Honey. octopus isn't around. Talk to me. Give me some intel. You're still keeping a record of all the ooey gooey bastards vulnerable points, right? Let teacher peek at your notebook and I'll make it worth your while. Uh, I uh, haven't added anything to it since the last time you looked. Please, sweetheart, you and I both know you're keeping the good stuff all to your lonesome. Actually, I've shared every- oh, come on now, kid. Dish, or I'll smother you. Stop it, professor, bitch! I can't breathe through your enormous tantas! What a teacher. What a bitch. What the hell? Are you kidding me? The M-class douchebags aren't supposed to get any special perks? Ow! Okay, all the upcoming student council events are detailed in the handouts you've just been given. Uh, hang on. How come we didn't get any? Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me, sir. E-Class didn't get the handouts. Oh. Wow, really? That's kind of bizarre. Huh. I'm so sorry. I thought for sure we printed enough for everyone. <laughs> Guess E-Class will just have to memorize it off their neighbors. <laughs> you know what I would do in the next school assembly? I'd lock all the exits and set the place on fire. Come on. Pop quiz. Problem solving. How do we get out of a school gymnasium with all the exits blocked off that's on fire? Come on, time is running out and so is oxygen! And the temperature's increasing! Come on! <laughs> that works out for the best, really. I mean, you people could use the mental exercise, I'm guessing. Oh, you will definitely use the mental exercise when you're losing oxygen and all you guys are ripping into each other and climbing over each other to get out like a bunch of lobsters trying to get out of a boiling, boiling pot. You know what happens when lobsters do that? Whenever a lobster is about to make it out, a lobster pulls them back down and none of them get out. What a little prick. Somebody ought to put... No, I would literally climb upstairs and jump out the window. You're not gonna die from a two-story fall. Oh shit. Uh -huh. There you go, Isagai. <laughs> Seriously? That should take care of it, I think. All of you have a copy of the handout now, correct? Yes, sir. Never mind, we have some. My mistake, sorry. You what? But, like, how did you... Okay, who's the wise guy? Who killed our fun? Why didn't he also replace the guy that's doing the assembly's notes with something else? Like, I'm a poo-poo face. That would have been funny. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> as I was saying before. Why didn't they give him a wedgie too? It'd be funny. It'd be hilarious. Uh, if you'll take a closer look at the event schedule, you'll notice we have quite a few things packed. Into I the thought we season. agreed we couldn't let the other students see you. What part of state secret do you refuse to understand? Relax. My disguise is flawless. No one suspects a thing. Looks like somebody got a little lonely. Can't say I blame the guy. Hey, was that teacher standing there a second ago? I don't know. What's with him being all big and, like, wriggly? Yeah, and what's with the hot one trying to stab him? Is that a thing? Can she do that? I can get him! Come Let's on. go! Oh. oh my god, that was actually proper technique. Oh my god, I have to watch that again. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. Thing? Can she do that? Yup, he's controlling the wrist. Yup, he's grabbing the back of the neck. He's controlling the head. You control the head, you control the rest of the body. Because instinctively, humans go the way the head is going. Get him! Yup, he pushes her down, pushes the arm back, twists the wrist. She can't move the elbow without risking getting disconnected. He moves the hand down to the shoulder, which means he can disconnect either. Oh! Yup, he's pushing in, he twists it around. That's a police hold. Oh! And he's walking her out. Textbook. <laughs> Two brownie points. 
The other one's got her in some kind of hole. That class is crazy. Oh, well, I'll say this much for her. She never quits. <laughs> I was just thinking of different ways I could hurt these guys. Yeah, no, if I stabbed him in the kidney, he would black out from the pain. <laughs> We're gonna run on ahead, Nagisa. Cool. I'll grab a drink and catch up with you. Yo, Nagisa. Huh? You proud of yourselves? Acting like you're having the time of your lives? Laughing during assembly? Not cool. You bums ever hear of respect? Respect is earned. If I was in E-Class, I'd keep my head down and my mouth shut. Yeah, and I sure as hell wouldn't have a reason to laugh. Wait, I know that voice. I know that voice. Hey, watch it with that look. I'm warning you. Hmm? Okay, prison tactic. No matter how professional, no matter how strong, and how well connected, no one fucks with the crazy person. When you're outnumbered and out of comfort, be crazy and unpredictable. No one fucks with the crazy person. No one. This whole stupid system is a travesty. Easy does it. The boy can handle himself. My students know how to deal with bullies. Something you want to say, scumbag? You want me to kill your ass? Kick him in the dick and then pin the one on the right to the wall. The guy on the left won't be able to get up and the guy on the right is too weak to do anything himself. And all those little sheep behind there won't do anything because you've just taken down the leader and the de facto leader that's literally a suck up. Seriously, look at this motherfucker. Kill? You're kidding, right? You're really gonna kill me? <laughs> Like you've got the balls to try. Go right ahead. No. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> Bitches. Dude, what? What was that all about? Damn. He's a psycho. What did I tell you? They have more self-respect than to roll over for a bully. <sighs> Interesting. An E-class reprobate presuming to shove his betters. <laughs> what nonsense. This behavior is unacceptable. It would appear a few tweaks are in order. Assassination can wait. For now, my priority is the status quo. Oh, so the status quo, you mean babying the little privileged kids into positions of power that they haven't had to earn? So you're effectively giving them power without the means of holding on to it. So what you're basically doing is weakening the whole. You know the old saying, an army of lions led by a sheep will fight like a sheep, but an army of sheep led by a lion will fight like a lion. What you're effectively doing is reverse Darwinism. You're weakening society. Wow. You're more mentally handicapped than I thought. No wonder that you're head of the Department of Education at this school. You know what they say, if you can't hack it in life, teach. Okay, so we've got an empty office space because you want to make yourself seem more important than you actually are. You've got a little flag because you think you're El Presidente. You've got that big seat because you want to feel like you're some sort of chancellor or some shit. Okay, you've got the corner office because corner office. You like the sun to be behind you because you want people that are... Oh wow, you've got no chairs. Which means anyone that's visiting your office has to stand. Wow, what a dick. It's funny because um, in my high school, I was basically told in the 10th grade that I should drop out because I'll never uh, achieve the scores that are necessary to make it to university. And throughout the final two years of university, all the teachers basically said that um, university entrance rankings 
fifty percent of it is decided by your marks in school, and fifty percent of it is decided by your marks in exams. And they're basically saying the people that are ranked first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten are the people that are going to get mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you're ranked first in the class and you flunk your exam for the university entrance, it won't matter because you'll get the top mark from the school and it will get given to you. So basically all the kids that were teachers' pets were getting first place, second place, you know, all the way down to 10th place. And every, and everyone was convinced that no matter what happens, they're going to get the best marks. And they were so cocky because of that, they thought they had it made. What ended up happening in the university exams, I was ranked like second from the bottom in English, Right. And I ended up getting one of the highest marks. I was ranked like so-so in mathematics in class. I ended up getting the second highest mark. So what ended up happening is I ended up getting one of the highest marks in my cohort. And so all those people that they were pretty much praising and they were teachers, pets and whatnot, ended up not getting the marks necessary to go not only to the university of their choice, but they didn't even get into the degree of their choice. Like they needed to get in the top, say, five percentile of the country to get into something like, I don't know, economics or business at, say, Sydney University or something. They ended up getting the top 40 percentile, meaning they couldn't even study business at a university in the middle, in the middle of nowhere, let alone in the middle of the city, right? And then you know they were going through calling you know students to basically see what their marks were, and then they found out what my mark was because they wanted to show off, you know, in the local newspapers and whatnot, and get people. I'm like, oh yeah, can we uh put you on the newspaper to say you're one of our students? And I'm like, no. They're like, why not? I'm like, you didn't help me achieve this mark. Fuck off. I'm not helping you get students. Why don't you put one of those other ones there? Oh wait. They flunked. That's what pisses me off about people like this on a power trip. They, 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 their lives are completely fucked. They didn't get anywhere in their lives, so they take it out by controlling adolescents because they're easier to control than adults. It's freaking pathetic. <sighs> okay, what the hell is this? Let's take a quick little break, and then we're going to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So we watch episode 3. The next one is episode 4, right? Yeah, it's episode 4. Okay, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Yeah, next is episode 6. It is... I don't know how they fucked up the ordering. Like, it... It fucks my brain. It, it literally fucks my brain. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja. 